Hey, what's good, everybody? I'm Tony, and you're watching the Ella J Plays YouTube channel. Guess what, you guys? Today, we're in New York City, and we're at Pier 60. You can see the sign back there. Today is Sweet Sweet. Sweet Sweet is an event where we're gonna meet tons of different toy companies, and we're gonna get to meet some of their PR and maybe get a little sneak peek on some fun new toys that they have releasing this year. I can't wait to show you guys everything that's inside of here. It's gonna be so exciting. Come on, let's walk down the red carpet. Before we even walk into the vent, you guys, LOL Surprise has their mini suites display right here with some of the characters, so that way fans could take pictures. Check out the background is so adorable, and in case you guys haven't seen the characters yet, here are a few right there. They look super adorable. So this is the official entrance of Sweet Sweet right here. We can see people starting to walk inside. So let's hurry up and get inside there so we don't miss all the fun times, you guys. Walking in the entrance, we are immediately greeted at the reception area where we check in and receive our creator badges. Now, for those unfamiliar with this event, Sweet Sweet is a fun invitation only event where toy companies show influencers, creators, and media their new and upcoming products. As an attendee, we are allowed to meet with brand reps, discuss and interact with new products, and take pictures and videos to share with our audience. Attending events like this helps creators gain relationships with the brands they love, and in return, brands usually send free products in exchange for reviews on social outlets. In today's video, we'll take a quick look at just a few of our favorite toys and brands that were on display at Sweet Sweet. I'm so excited to finally be here, you guys. I cannot wait to get inside here. Before we actually step onto the showroom floor, there's a long entrance hall with displays and booths, including Funko Games' first look at Disney Kingdomania expandable game. Unfortunately, I didn't make it to the actual Funko booth. There just wasn't enough time. The next area in the entry hall is brought to us by Spin Master featuring their new toy, Pixel Bit Studio with endless ways to create. We had our photo taken and immediately transformed into pixels. Well, at least in the photo, check out our cool pixelated photo. Pixel Bits are on IG, TikTok, and coming soon to stores. We got a quick glimpse of Venom and Spider-Man too. They look incredible. Further down the hall, there's more LOL surprise displays. Check it out, you guys. We found some more LOL surprise stuff inside of here. More displays. Oh, look at the little Pez girl. And I got my own life-size Pez. So cute. More characters. OMG, she's so adorable. Look at the large displays on the inside. They have the surprise Omatic and life size. And then the little twins down there. Thank you. Check out the twins, you guys. Mike and Ike. Adorable. They even have more characters on this side. Look at some of the fun stuff they have here on the table for you to pose with, with to take pictures. They got the Pez and the Pez purse. It's a giant Pez on a purse. And they have so much more stuff. There's this table and then there's the other table over here. They have the bazooka backpack. Look at this, a giant bazooka backpack. A Reese's purse and the Hershey's Kiss candy purse. So cute, collect your cravings. Our first stop on the showroom floor is Mattel, who had Karma's World on full display for the event. The Karma's World toy line includes a stage playset, a styling head, which looked amazing with super high quality hair, and the three main characters. Mattel also shared Minecraft toys, but there was no sighting of Barbie or Monster High at the event, which I would have loved to see. The next booth to visit is the Fresh Dolls, brought to us by Dr. Lisa. 
we got our first look at the new Fresh Squad dolls featuring three new boys available in store soon. And I was highly anticipating getting a first look at the Dijonet and La Sienica dolls, which will join Penny Proud on the toy aisles very soon. In collaboration with Rock the Bells, there will be two characters releasing dressed in throwback style hip hop clothing, which I'm very excited to see in stores. Jack Specific hosted a very interactive booth. I absolutely adore the Target shopping cart and fully intend to toy hunt using only these mini shopping carts. We got a first look at new Encanto dolls, including the two pack of Isabella and Maribel. I was more excited to see Dolores and Bruno, which are getting their first dolls. There is also a jewelry box and an action toy for Encanto. We were even attacked by a remote controlled T-Rex dinosaur. Then we got to look at an interactive Yoshi from Super Mario. Play Mobile had a pretty sweet display setup. I especially love their Wiltopia playsets. They're extremely detailed and I can totally see myself playing for hours with these type of toys. Here's a closer look at the playsets. Moving along to the Top Secret Toys booth. Here are the brand new Gigapets and Dissected Lab Kits. Two very fun and entertaining toys that me and Ella both enjoyed. Gigapets are fun and interactive digital pets originally released in the 90s. The new Gigapets have super cute designs and still serve the nostalgia we need and love. Everyone visiting the booth was allowed to pick a Gigapet to adopt and take home. The other toy, Dissected, is exactly as it sounds. A fun dissection kit featuring frogs, bats, and fish. Don't worry, it's not real. It's made up of a jelly-like substance with plastic or rubber used for bones and anatomy. This toy screams science. The mini dissected labs include mystery skeletons, which also look like tons of fun. If that didn't get your appetite going, the next booth to check out is MGA Entertainment and LOL Surprise, probably our favorite booth at the event. The LOL Surprise Loves Mini Sweets are each displayed in a candy dish style to resemble a fun grab and bag candy shop style. Everyone attending the event was gifted an LOL Surprise doll and a bag full of candy. Near the end of the event, one of the MGA reps was walking around the event just handing out tons of LOL surprise dolls to everybody he could find and handed us a bunch of them. This was also our first look at the Deluxe Mini Sweet Surprise, which I was actually gifted at the event and my review is already up on YouTube if you want to check it out. After looking at so many toys, it was time for us to take a break and grab something to eat. There were several food stations set up throughout the event, but the most notable one was in a glass room overlooking the water outside. Different styles of food were served, but we stuck to the finger foods like chicken strips, french fries, pretzels, and sweet desserts. Drinks were also served throughout the event, including water, soda, juice, and even adult beverages. We didn't break for too long because there was so much to see, including our friends at Wowie Toys, where Miss Claudina 9 and Elvira from the Doll Circle cosplayed the brand new Create a Doll line called My Avastars, which will also be featured in Roblox. Each kit features a base doll, accessories, and stickers to customize your doll.
There were two sides to the Wowie booth and the other side features brands like Twilight, Daycare, which resemble a smaller version of My Avastars. I don't have much info on this line, but there are so many different babies to collect and they all look pretty cute. There is also a new fidget toy called Fashion Fidgets which are tiny dolls with tons of fidget aspects. I think it's a catchy and creative take on fidget toys. It's especially eye-catching for us doll collectors. I mean, I may need some of them. Another booth we absolutely loved and enjoyed is Just Play, which featured lots of new and never before seen toys, including Fur by the Foot, which has a nostalgic bubblegum style unboxing where you can reveal two to three adorable little plushy pets. A doll line that everyone has been anticipating to see in person, Purpose Toys, very own Naturalistas and HBCU dolls. Founded by DD Wright Ward, this new brand is launching in hopes of providing products with a purpose. Naturalistas is a beautiful new fashion doll line focusing on natural curls and coils, educating the doll community on different hair types and styles. I'm very excited to collect all of these dolls and also the fashion packs releasing around the same time. HBCU dolls are for those 18 inch doll lovers and focus on bringing light to historical black colleges. There are already big plans to expand both of these doll lines which I cannot wait to see. Next up is the Art Squad which features four characters, colorful, vibrant dolls with street style and a high sense of fashion. These dolls resemble caricature style faces. Each doll includes an art style interaction feature to let your creativity flow. Disney Adorables are back in a Discover Your Destination series. Something new from this brand is a collection of Dorables with cars which I thought was pretty neat. I haven't got much into this collection as there are so many to collect, but I love to look at how cute they are and I enjoy watching others unbox them on social media. Of course we have to visit Super Impulse Toys which features world's smallest micro toy box and minis and mini sugar buzz. These toys make perfect accessories for most doll lines which is a huge selling factor for me. Sugar Buzz is a brand new line from Super Impulse and features mini sweets that can be opened to find even smaller mini sweets inside. I absolutely love it. I need all of these in my collection immediately and we were actually gifted a ton of stuff from Super Impulse Toys so stay tuned for some fun to come. Super Impulse Toys features tiny real working board games, tiny arcade machines and micro toys. The next booth was busy all day but we finally were able to snag some time with them. IMC Toys and our beloved crybabies. We have built a relationship with this brand over the years and couldn't be more excited for the launch of the new Crybabies BFF fashion dolls. This is probably my most anticipated new doll line releasing. I absolutely love the size of the doll, the articulation, proportions, fashion, style. Overall, the way the doll feels while holding, I am fully invested in this line. There are six individual dolls and a two-pack releasing for the initial launch. The box design is unique and fun. It's refreshing to see a doll line released that separates itself from the rest and gives its own innovative vibe. Alongside the BFF dolls, the IMC booth also featured I Love VIP Pets Cats, Cry Baby's Magic Tears Icy World, and Boo Balloon's Confetti Party. Bendy Figs is a brand that has expanded pretty quickly. More of a display style toy, Bendy Figs features rubbery, bendable figures featuring some of our favorite movie and comic book characters. Of course, Rugrats character and Angelica's doll Cynthia caught my eye, but there are so many figures for whatever fits your aesthetic.
I really enjoyed the Vast Horror Collection and more specifically the Chucky with fabric clothes. He's perfect size to terrorize my doll collection. Around this time, the event was pretty much wrapping up so we just made our way around to a few last booths that were still showing. Many booths started giving away some of the products they had on display. Overall, Sweet Sweet was an exceptionally wonderful experience. We met so many friends we normally only get to talk with on social media. We met new brand reps and caught up with brands we have been working with for years. I'm very excited for everything that is to come in the toy industry this year. I just want to thank Sweet Sweet, the Toy Insider, the Toy Association, and our sweet friend Melissa from Family Video Network for inviting us on this fun adventure. We cannot wait to do this again. Before you guys go, please give this video a thumbs up, sub our channel if you're new here, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching!